Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be learning about keratometer. Keratometer is a device that measures the curvature of anterior surface of cornea and is also used to determine the refractive power of the cornea. Procedure of keratometry. So first step is our calibration part. Keratometer has to be calibrated before use to ensure the accuracy of the measurement. To ensure calibration, focus eyepiece. Place a white paper sheet in front of keratometer. Focus eyepiece till plus sign become clear. Second, you have to make sure that keratometer is giving correct result or not. A steel ball of known parameter is placed in front of keratometer. In our case, we are using 7.65 mm. Looking through the eyepiece, first focus on the mire to get a clear view of the mire. Use a focusing knob to make sure that central mire is single. Once mire are focused, adjust the keratometer such that the reticle is in the center of lower right circle. Adjust the vertical wheel until the minus signs are overlapping. Adjust the horizontal wheel until the plus sign are overlapping. At this point, both of your dials should be pointing towards 7.65 mm. If it does, it means your instrument is calibrated. Patient adjustment. Ask your patient to gently place their chin and touch the forehead. And this knob should be aligned with the outer canther in the subject type. You can adjust keratometer by raising or lowering up and down knob and by moving it to the left to right. Next step is focusing the mire. Looking through the eyepiece, first focus on the mire to get a clear view of the mire. And using focusing knob, make sure the central mire is single. Once mire are focused, adjust the keratometer such that the reticle is in the center of the lower right circle. Adjust the vertical wheel until minus sign are overlapping. Adjust the horizontal wheel until the plus sign are overlapping. Now record the readings. So how to record keratometry readings? Read the value line by red line on the both vertical and horizontal wheels. Document the reading on the horizontal wheel as K1. In our case, it is 43.50 diopter towards 180 degree. Document the reading on the vertical wheel as K2. In our case, it is 42.75 diopter towards 90 degree. Astigmatism is given by K1 minus K2 axis toward K1. In our case, it is plus 0.75 diopter cylinder axis 180 degree. In case of oblique astigmatism, myers are not in same plane. In such cases, rotate the instrument until the plus and minus signs are on the same plane. After that, align the both plus and minus signs. Record the reading as previously mentioned, but here axis will be noted from these two points. Thank you everyone. Please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video with your friends also. If you have any query regarding keratometry, please put this in a comment section. I'll be happy to reply them.